What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. It's a little different today. We need to talk about the state of Souls RNG and the future of this channel. Now I am going to talk about some subjects that may get my creator role removed but guys honestly I don't care at this stage. The game needs to move forward and if that means that us content creators have to be the voice then so be it. But before I do get into the topics guys I want to say a massive thank you to everyone watching and to all the people that have supported me from day one. You guys really have changed my life and I know I haven't been posting daily and we are going to get into that. I think you all know why it is down to lack of content. But let's go ahead and cover some topics. My YouTube channel. I made this 10 years ago guys in 2014 with some dumb Minecraft videos. But leading up to where I am today, Roblox really did change my channel. I discovered Anime Adventures last year and that is where I started to get a load of growth. And then that got closed down, I tried a bunch of other games and then I found Souls RNG and I will forever be grateful for Souls RNG and the development team in the respect that they gave us this really cool concept of a Roblox game and it helped myself and so many other content creators blow their channels up and the community is a w i must say that too but moving forward starting today guys i cannot promise you daily souls rng videos i would love to get back into posting daily but i hope you guys will accept the fact i'm going to be trying other roblox games i love horror games so there's probably gonna be a mixture of horror games and anime games if you guys are up for that, please do let me know in the comments section or suggest some games you would like to see me try on this channel. We have come too far as a community on this channel to just stop uploading because Souls RNG are being really poor with their updates. So while I mentioned updates, let's go ahead and talk about it. Now, it's no secret, they suck at releasing updates. They're always delayed and in my opinion, for a game as big as Souls RNG, it shouldn't be getting a delayed update every time. And for the amount of time it's delayed for, is strictly unprofessional. I started back in Era 5, and Era 6 was a good update. Era 7 was by far the best update. And then when Era 8 got released, I'm going to be real, it was stinky, bro. In terms of content, it just wasn't great. But Era 8.5... It changed the game with the new map and the quests. It gave the players a bit of excitement and it gave us content creators a bit of content to actually produce that was different to the usual videos because right now, the only videos we all sort of make is rolling heavenly potions or oblivion potions on subscribers accounts. Now don't get me wrong, I love doing that, but when every other Souls RNG creator is doing that, it becomes stressful. I think that might be the right word to describe it because we're all in competition with each other but when it comes to us doing the exact same topic per video it's really difficult because certain people are going to prioritize other creators which is fine. I see no problem with that it's just it's just dragging on a bit now just making the same video so that's why I'm kind of done with it a little bit. Era 9 was supposed to be the savior update everyone expected a new map new biomes just a complete rework of the game and then they said they're going to release it in 9.5 the new map but guys will they i can't see it personally i don't know it just at this stage there's been a lot of false promises and i'm sure you guys can see that from discord itself the whole innovator thing where we're supposed to get this innovator aura where a load of us content creators made videos and now we're not getting the aura. It's just not fair, guys. I'm just so done with these false promises, bro. And the moderation side, like I spoke about earlier on, is really poor. Let's talk about fake souls RNG, yeah? So a lot of you may know, I don't tend to read a lot on Discord. I didn't look at any rules and I eventually played 
a game that was a fake Souls RNG where I opened up a hundred heavenly potions. And guys, I got away with it for so long. I was made aware, like, a day later that I shouldn't have made the video by, um, another creator. And basically, I said I'm not taking the video down. If the devs have a problem, they can contact me. But guys, it is my channel. They cannot tell me what I should post. So, I kept the video up. Noodle blocks, oh the legend, the man, Souls RNG himself. So he did the same thing. He got crucified. And because he got crucified, some of you guys mentioned I made a video. And then I got crucified. Fair enough. That seems fair. I should get punished too because I did the same thing. However, I got my role back. And I will openly say this now, I didn't delete my videos. I think to get your videos back, they want you to basically say sorry to them and remove your videos. And I spoke to Noodle briefly about it back then. And he said he's keeping the video up. But my videos are still up and I still have my role. So if the devs do watch this, take my role, like I said, it's entirely up to you. I'm just voicing my opinion and we all have a right to that. But to do that to Noodle, your biggest Souls RNG creator was really unprofessional, I think. And when I raised it with the admin, I'm not going to say names, guys. They basically said, okay, it's gone on far enough. I'm just going to give everyone their roles back. So I left it. But Noodle never got his role back. But anyway, I don't know too much more about that. I just think it's unfair. And obviously, Shiftless, he also lost his role because... He voiced his opinion about the game, which he has every right to do so. Everyone should be able to voice their opinion. It's constructive criticism. I love Souls RNG, but I don't love how they are handling things. I don't love how they are moving forward. I think they are killing their own game. And from my perspective and your perspective, it seems like they don't care. For those of you watching that are in the Discord server, there is a section called Feature Requests. Now, this is how much of a W the community is. It is filled with so many great ideas. There's also another section for aura submissions, which has tons of promising auras, but I don't understand why we're not utilizing these channels to improve the game. If there isn't enough developers, then just hire some more. I don't understand the problem there. If it costs more money, that should be a sacrifice you should make. You have seen the numbers the game can pull and you're watching those numbers plummet. And with the release of these new tower defense games like Anime Vanguards, bro, they're taking your player base and there are so many more games to get released. I'm just going to say this now. I just want to finish on this. It's down to you developers. I've said my piece. I know Intensity has made one of these videos too. And I'm sure some others are going to come forward and speak about this. And it's not hate. It's just constructive criticism. And just voicing our opinions. I hope you listen to us. And you improve the game. Stick to your word. And actually... Get updates out on time anyway if you got this far in the video please leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you next time